Hi, and welcome to Lassie's Metal Dreams. So here's the office, and um, this is uh, the office for the hands-on classes, and uh, it's uh, where we're teaching the people in metal shaping. What you can see here is the hands-on classes, the area for that. And we have two bead rollers, we have four access to five English wheels, and we have four shrink and stretcher, so it's hands-on all the time. We offer, uh, this year we offer one class a month and a couple of step two classes this year. Over in this area where we're filming now, you can see the cars that is a project stage so here's a 36 roadster that we built from flat sheet and uh, the student built that on the step two classes and here we have another 32 roadster that we built also and behind that we have another project it's a 32 fire window coop that we're working on so we're making all the other all the parts for the cars over on the step one area where the tools are and um, then we assembly the parts over here in the, where we're standing now. So it works pretty good and it's important to keep your sh the shop clean. So it, it's, it's uh, fun to be here every day. And uh, it, it's fun to take the flat sheet over there on the wall there and make car bodies or parts, whatever we want. And um, if you think about it, what we actually do here in the class and what that's what we're teaching is you can do four elements when we're talking about metal shaping. When people mention or talking about metal shaping, what is it? Metal shaping, how can you explain that? And it had been difficult for me to explain what it actually is. Yeah, we, we're creating something, we, we're forming metal, but what is it actually? And, but it's those four elements. What you can do is you can cut, bend, shrink and stretch. stretch. That's those four elements that you can do to a sheet. When you understand what happens when you do one or more of those four elements in a combination, you can control the sheet. And if you can control the sheet, then you know that it's up in your mind what you would like to do. It doesn't matter if it's a 32 Roadster, 36 Roadster, 41 Willis Coupe up there on a the banner, or a motorcycle fender. It's up in your mind when you're controlling the sheet and that's what we're teaching. And I'm, I am the teacher. The good thing with this, with those four elements is that if something goes wrong, you can always go backwards and ask yourself, what was the last thing I did? And then you start thinking about that and look at the panel that you're making and you see that it was, oh, okay, I shrunk it here. So maybe I should have stretched it instead to get it to the right shape. So you can always read the material and go backwards and then, then you can create anything you want when you understand what happened. And that's what we're teaching. And uh, that's not all what we do. We're also building the tools. We're making the tools here in-house, most of it. So follow me here and we can go to the, to the back secret room. This is the part of the shop here where we, we're making the tools. And uh, here you can see uh, we have eight English wheel in, a, a, in the stage that we're putting together now. And we have 20 more bead rollers that goes together. And uh, pretty soon this will be ready to sh uh, ship for powder coating. And then we have the, the assembly area over there where we assemble the parts of the powder coating. So uh, the only thing we, we buy from uh, other comp uh, another company is the small shrink and stretch ahead. Other than that, we produce everything. And uh, I have some stuff that we make still making in Sweden because the company had made it for me there for many years and ship it over here and assemble it here. And then we also over here, we're making the dies for the bead roller. So we have a CNC lathe over here where we're making all the dies for, for the bead roller and we're going to continue and make more of those parts for, for our machine so we can make it in-house. So uh, this is the assembly area where I'm standing now. It's, it's not the big production but uh, we, we, uh, 
What we stand for is the quality of the stuff that we're making so people are happy and satisfied so they can do quicker job and better quality and they make more money. If you want more information about the hands-on classes, the video, the books, you can go to www.lazymetalshaping.com. Thank you so much.